So you want to retire. You're pretty confident or really confident in your numbers. You think you got enough money to retire. You've investigated this a lot. You've read a lot about this. You've watched a lot of YouTube videos, but your spouse is not on board. Now, a few times in this video, I may say your wife is not on, on board. Well, that's because that's been my experience with the vast majority of people that I've talked to. Also, a little bit of my experience, there was some uh, encouragement needed, coaching, discussion, information sharing that needed to happen uh, to get my wife there. So uh, not, not hard, uh, but it was uh, a step, let's say. Um, so here you go. Watch the pretty coin of gold, and you shall do as you were told. <laughs> Actually, I'm just having fun with you. Uh, that was from Scooby-Doo and uh, a Circus Clown, uh, a cartoon from the 1970s. Let me know if you knew that. Okay, seriously now, uh, I've got some action steps that should help. You may need to do all these. You may find one. So uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, there'll be at least one thing if you're uh, struggling with this. Okay, number step number one. This is important. This is the only thing that's really in order, okay? You need to find out where this fear or opinion is coming from, from your spouse. You got to sit down and find out. It's not an argument. This is you asking questions. Is it a money fear? Did their parents run out of money? Uh, did a family friend run out of money? What, what are these horror stories that may be influencing a decision? Could be fear of the unknown. This is, I don't know how to do this. If they're a nurse, if they're an engineer, uh, if, if they're a stay-at-home mom, whatever, uh, this is new territory. So sometimes fear of the unknown um, rises up as uh, you know a, a stop sign. Fear of missing something. Are you, are you missing something? I'm not an expert on this. My husband's not an expert on this. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Is that the fear? One of the fears, very real, I hear this a lot, actually is concerned with the relationship change that's going to happen when both spouses are together all the time. You know, kind of grown apart over the decades. It's all going to be awkward. I like my own free time. You know, uh, so how's that going to be? Okay, so if it's money, a couple ideas for you. Show your spouse your spreadsheet sheets. Sorry, you know, have her sit down right next to you at your computer and just say, "Here's my spreadsheets. Here's the format. Here's the assumptions. Here's the conclusions." That's step one. Okay, show your spouse the results of a comprehensive software package. You know, review the inputs, the graphs, the Monte Carlo simulations, uh, the failure risk, all those kind of things. This may scratch the itch of, you know, you don't know what you're doing. You built these spreadsheets. What about a professionally created spreadsheet? Okay, and that, this could be big. This could be all about you. And, and, and uh, hey, you make mistakes. I've been with you for 30 years. You do make mistakes. So maybe a comprehensive software package. If you don't have one, folks, New retirement, the first link below. You can get two free weeks, two free weeks. Hit the link below, look at the format, see if you like it. 99.9% .9 of the people that I've recommended go to this site say it's been a game changer. They can't believe how, you know, the tool capabilities. It's $120 a year after that if you choose to do it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's totally free to hit the link and get started, okay? And see if you like it. Okay, see if it, but I'm telling you, everybody likes it. Uh, you can do stress testing of the plan. What happens if there's a bad market? What happens if there's a good market? What happens if, you know, if we have higher spending than we thought? Inflation, early death, taxes, all those things can be raised to a high, put a, an average and put to a low, and move them all around, have them working together. Greatly reduces stress and fear going into retirement. I, that's my go to tool. If you're not using a comprehensive package, you're making a mistake going into retirement, whether you use a financial advisor or not. Okay. Number three, have your, spo your spouse join you on a minimum of two discussions with financial advisors. If you know them, go to them. Okay. I like doing face to face for at least one of these. Sit down, tell them your situation, your money, your fears, 
Let them come up with a comprehensive plan for you. They'll do that, okay? Let them earn your business. They'll make a lot of money if you sign with them. Uh, so they, they've got to make them earn it, okay? Often, um, uh, your spouse could have a judgment that these are the experts and I'm going to defer to them. Outside opinions matter, okay? There's, there's, you know, you're pretty close to your spouse. Maybe this is it. So get an expert in there. If you don't know where to start, the second link below is again a free. This is free, okay? Doesn't cost you anything. Hit the second link below and it'll automatically hook you up with a group called Money Pickle. They have 16 financial advisors on staff. You type in, you hit that link, it'll take you to a, um, a calendar. You, you sign up, hey, next Thursday at 1 p.m. I want to meet with, the, with, with somebody. It can be in the evening too, can be on the weekend. And uh, they'll talk about your topic. So you enter your topic that you're concerned about, whether it's the whole plan or when to take Social Security or do we have enough money? Is our money located in the, in the right accounts? How do we withdraw our money? Any question you got, start with Money Pickle. That's a great place to get going and start to get some outside help. Um, Okay, it's important you give your spouse all the information you got and get it from several sources, two financial advisors, comprehensive software package, your Excel, your, your, um, yeah, your Excel worksheets, okay? Uh, hey, start a retirement group. I'm, I'm meeting tomorrow with my re retirement group. I got two close friends that uh, were committed to learning, sharing, and share everything, every single thing, all of our, all my expenses, all of my accounts, what are my fears, uh, what kind of rates am I getting? And each of us is committed to the other's success, okay? So when I'm discussing my plan, they're committed to me and my goals and poking holes in my plan, showing me where it's gonna fail. And uh, just, it, it's great going into this with, uh, with other people. But talk to them, talk to these people and say, hey, what have you done with your spouse to, to help them get there? And they may have a personal experience to help with and give you confidence. Okay, the last thing under money I've got is discuss with your, your wife or spouse uh, countermeasures to these fears. Okay, running out of money. That's most people's number one. Okay, hey, we can, we've can we got this base spending amount. Say it's $5,000 a month. Now we got this want to spend $7,000 a month, but we can always go down to our base spending of $5,000 a month. You put that into, if, you know, if the market goes down 30, 40%, and then we can ride the storm out that way, okay? And see how that impacts your results inside of a package like new retirement, okay? Uh, I like to add, <laughs> this is just me, uh, inside a new retirement, I got a budget item called crazy spending, okay? So I'm able to go in, is able to do this with my wife and say, let's, let's just add $1,000 a month. Let's add $2,000 a month and see the plan begin to fail and say, hey, we can handle, and this is just hypothetical, we can we can spend $1,500 a month more and we're just fine. We go down to 92% probability of success spending $1,500 more. That gives great confidence to say, gosh, our plan is only to spend 6,000 a month. We can actually spend 7,200 a month for the next 30 years and we're just fine, okay? So that's a big deal. Countermeasures are a big, big deal. You could talk about part-time work and say, hey, uh, maybe uh, I I'm wanting to do some part-time work and I'm gonna bring in $15,000 a year that I'm not even counting in this, okay? Put that in your formula then or in your software package and stress tested it with that 15,000. You may also consider going part-time, you know, you may not wanna go part-time at your current job, but say your spouse is not on board and say, Hey, let's reduce our spending to, or make our spending what our budget is. Say it's $6,000 a month, just throwing out a number. Uh, and let's spend at that rate for the next 90 days and um, just see how it works out. Uh, I can go part-time. That's another option is, hey, I'll go part-time for the next 90 days. And we'll kind of ease into this retirement instead of just going from, you know, 40 hours a week to zero, just go to 20. See what that looks like. All these are options for you to ease. Those are more putting your big toe in the water, or your one foot in the water instead of jumping into retirement. Um, yeah, 
uh, go to that spending rate for six months, you know, and just see, can you spend at that level? You are not an expert, okay? Most of people that uh, are listening to this, you may wanna hire a financial advisor and, and say, hey, let's hire a financial advisor for a year and think about, hey, I'm gonna, we're gonna hire this expert. They're gonna direct us, hold our hand through the whole process. They're gonna be our guide for this whole transition. And it, it may just be a year, okay? It may be permanent, okay? But you know, it may, uh, what I found is most of the fears in the first 12 months, it's the transition. Once you're retired, you'll say, oh, wow, well, this isn't that bad. That's where I'm at, you know, five years in. Um, discuss your fear, perhaps, um, you know, your fear of, of you know, money. Uh, people are worried about running out, but I think for the majority of people that I've interacted with, the biggest fear is having regrets when you're 70 or 80 years old that you work too long. You work too long. So I, I think that's a big risk for people uh, that they, instead of retiring at 60, they work till they're 62 and they go, oh man, I was the youngest. I was the healthiest. I can do anything I wanted. And I waited till I was 62 and I only had eight healthy years till one of us got sick or back problems or uh, whatever happens. Um, okay, another fear that your spouse may have is just fear of the unknown and that, that you may have missed something, okay? Could be a money issue, but fear of the unknown and may have missed something. Schedule YouTube time together, okay? Maybe it's 30 minutes a night, okay? Lots of experts out there. I love, there's so many people out there on YouTube with great advice, great experience, and some given personal stories. That's what I do. I give my personal story, my personal experience. I try not to uh, step on the professionals, okay? Now, stop, okay? Stop. This is the time for you to hit like and subscribe, okay? Stop and hit like and subscribe. If you watched at least two of my videos, like and subscribe, okay? It helps me out a lot, okay? Uh, the second thing under fear of the unknown and missing something is, again, you know, maybe you have to sit down and uh, with a financial advisor and hire them for a year, okay? Hire them. Uh, talk to, the, the third thing under this, uh, uh, fear of the unknown, may have missed something. Find two people that have retired. Sit down and talk with them. What surprised you? What were you not ready for? What did you luck out on? What were your, you know, just talk to them. Data trumps fear, okay? Number four, discuss the benefits of retiring early. Stress. Folks, you've heard me say, I would have laughed at you if you would have said I was under stress in my job. But I was. I didn't realize it till I had it taken away. It was like setting down a 10 pound weight. It's real. I promise you, if you're getting up, if you set your alarm clock, if you have meetings, you have deadlines, you have presentations, you have expectations on you, you have stress. You're lying to yourself. You're fooling yourself if you don't think you do, okay? I, I mean, that's, I, I'm wanting to say 100%. I'm, I'm real confident in that because I, because of my experience. I loved my job. I told everybody I loved my job. I did love my job, but I was under stress in my job. Benefits of retiring early. Number two, slower play, pace. I, I was good at running in fifth gear, at running 100 miles an hour. It's nice running 20 miles an hour. I enjoy walks. I enjoy discussion, discussions. I reconnected with old friends. Uh, I reconnected on learning and reading books. More family time. My parents are still alive. It's priceless to be able to spend time talking with them. They're 87 and, and 85. Uh, you wanna work two more years and what what's their availability gonna be? Not trying to be morbid. Uh, good luck, mom and dad are still hanging in there. They're tough, they're tough, they're, they're healthy, they got it. Uh, time to do something totally different in retirement. May I paint for Habitat. I'm on the parks board. I have study groups. I have two retirement groups. I wouldn't be able to do that if I was working. I'd be just trying to live. Uh, got this YouTube channel that I'm making here. I'm just having a ball interacting with you folks. You could travel. A lot of people travel. Golf, pickleball, get fit, eat healthy, exercise. I'm down 35 pounds. 
I'm down 35 pounds, okay, guys? And I've been keeping it off, okay? I still, you heard in an earlier video, I, I'd like 10 more. I'm recommitted to 10 more. I kind of got stagnant at 35, 30, 35, and I, I'm going for 45. Uh, I think I'll be there 10 days, two weeks. Okay, is it a relationship change? Is the fear driven or rooted in uh, a rela relationship change? This is a big deal, folks. Don't blow this off, okay? Don't get angry. This is a big deal. Uh, the key is don't just retire from something. Retire to something. That is the key. This is the emotional push both of you need to retire, okay? Discuss your visions of retirement. Get excited about this like you're planning a vacation. It's not just going to be travel. It's not going to be just golf, spending time with family. What does the average Tuesday look like? where you're not traveling, cruising, whatever you're doing. What does it look like? What's your vision of that? You know, ask your wife what her vision is at. Oh, I want, I can wake up and exercise every day. I can sleep in, not use the alarm clock. That is huge in retirement. I set the alarm clock just a couple times a year. Exercise, read, eat better, learn to cook, volunteer. Okay, what does an average Tuesday look like? Then, this is really important, are we together or, or alone on those journeys? Your wife and you need some time alone, okay? So I paint for Habitat. My wife doesn't do that. I have two retirement groups. My wife doesn't do that. We travel a lot. My wife and I do that together. I meet with old friends. That's usually alone, okay? So what journeys are we on together? And just try to crystallize what that experience is going to be about. Try to get real specific for the first six months. Get some enthusiasm. Drive out the fear of the unknown, right? Okay, it's big deal. This is a big deal. Okay, did I miss something that has worked for you getting your spouse on board with retiring? Do you have a unique example, special case that you're not able to crack? Let me know in the comments, okay? There's a lot of interaction in the comments and everybody needs to be nice. <laughs> Uh, I've made videos where they, people weren't, okay? So let's, let's be nice, let's be constructive, let's be a helpful community, okay? So if you don't have anything else to say, like, share, and tell me where you're from. I love hearing where you're from. Just chill out.